to talk about the racial wealth gap in the country. Pandemic has exacerbated income inequalities due to record high unemployment rates. But according to our next guest, disparities between black and white Americans, well, they've been happening for centuries. And he speaks about that in his new book. And it's called A Letter to My White Friends and Colleagues, What You Can Do Right Now to Help the Black Community author and retired Harvard Business School professor Stephen S. Rogers joining us now. It is good to see you, young fella. And I'm going to go with the, the title of the book, A Letter to My White Friends and Colleagues, What You Can Do Right Now to Help the Black Community. And before we get into too many of the wealth disparities, to that point, and I know you've had it as well, so many of your white friends and colleagues will reach out after all we saw last year and say, what should I be doing? What can I be doing? Was I doing something offensive before? You know what? Answer that question to folks, a white person that might be watching right now. What can you do right now to help the black community? Well, TJ, first of all, thank you very much for having me. And my book was written literally to help white people address the, the question that many of them ask black people during the um, civil unrest and the protests that were occurring last summer after George Floyd's death. I believe that uh, the primary, primarily problem between blacks and whites in terms of our race challenges is anchored at uh, the wealth disparity. And so my focus in helping whites help the black community is focused on closing that wealth gap. I give whites um, four recommendations as to what they can do. Well, Stephen, give us a couple of those if you don't want to give all four, but, to, but give us an idea of the things that can be done and people can be doing. First of all, the wealth gap itself is probably, um, it's about $153,000 on average. The average white family has net worth of about 170000 versus 17000 for the average black family. That was created primarily for over uh, 246 years of enslavement by blacks. Uh, that basically the government sanctioned, um, and it was sort of a subsidy program for white wealth creation, 246 years of slavery, followed by 60 years of black codes and vagrancy laws, followed by 40 years of redlining. All of those things were economic things designed to enrich whites and explicitly designed to impoverish blacks, such that today 35% of the black community has zero, uh, uh, zero net worth. So here are some of the recommendations. Number one, I ask whites to deposit at least 9.29% of their annual uh, savings into a black-owned bank. And 9.29% represents the nine minutes and 29 seconds that George Floyd, or the, the uh, officer had his knee on George Floyd's neck. And so I asked them to deposit at, night, at least 9.29% of their savings into black banks. And the reason is because black banks send money to the black communities. Over 70% of mortgages given by black banks go to black people, whereas less than a half percent of mortgages by white banks go to uh, black people. Number two, I asked them to spend at least 9.29% of their annual budget with black owned businesses. Yeah. And the reason is because black owned businesses are the largest private employers of black people in the country. The federal government is number one. So if you send money, uh, if you, you, you do business with a black owned business, you're actually helping the black community. Number three, I asked them to deposit, excuse me, I asked them to donate at least 9.29% of their annual philanthropic dollars to uh, historically black colleges and universities. Mm. Historically black colleges and universities were created because the federal government and state governments denied black entry into predominantly white schools, despite the fact uh, we were taxpayers. And so they were created going back to the 1800s. And HBCUs today, the average uh, endowment is only $12 million. They've done a Herculean job. Uh, they have created, for example, 80% of all black judges that they attended an HBCU, 40% of all black engineers attended an HBCU, and 100% of all black vice presidents today mm -hmm. attended HBCU. Stephen S. Rogers, the book is A Letter to My White Friends and Colleagues, What You Can Do Right Now to Help the Black Community. You have, uh, it's well researched and you have, a, you have a heck of a background. Your resume speaks for itself, man. And you have some interesting, interesting ideas and maybe they will catch on. And we certainly hope to catch up with you down the road. All right, thanks for being here. PJ, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.